Uh, thank you very much for accepting my talk, for coming here. Also, thank you very much for giving me the cable internet. <laughs> I ask for it, but there is only cable, there is no socket to <laughs> put it in here. So it will be maybe a bit slower uh, than I expected, and maybe I even uh, have to show to you a bit less of uh, what I intended. Okay, if you can uh, imagine from the title of my work, subtitle of my work uh, talk description, and uh, the images that are running there now, I'm going to talk about the uh, early World Wide Web. Um, and uh, um, I, have a lot of sh I have a lot to show, to share with you, and uh, I'm a bit afraid that there will be not enough time and then for the conclusion. So let me please uh, make uh, some statements uh, right now. So what I'm, and, and the uh, last, drop. Um, so, final, originally final statements. Uh, what I am going to show to you now uh, has uh, nothing to do with uh, nostalgia. I am not showing to you out of the nostalgia. And uh, I really believe that making web pages is one of the most conscious activities, medium-specific conscious activities that computer users uh, can do in uh, this world. And um, also, there is a uh, making a web page is something that, uh, where you historically you learn how things work, uh, you uh, write the code historically. Also, making a web page meant to answer some existential questions. So it was. Um, let's say also a philosophical exercise in philosophy, because you had to answer questions, uh, actually, who am I? What do I have to say to the world? And uh, it's a bit, what should my page be about? Yeah? And this is a bit more than to um, answer the question of today, uh, like, what are you doing today? Or who is on this photo? Yeah, though, of course, you also can't underestimate such questions. Uh, well, so you had to answer existential questions, and uh, if you find out that you don't actually have anything to say to this world about yourself, about anything, you can't even make a hate uh, Backstreet Boy page or a fan Backstreet Boy page, then you can still be a node in the network. So you can create a web page with the links to other web pages. So I'm going to talk now about the time. <coughs> that uh, when web pages were made like this, like when users thought that they are responsible for providing links to search engines, yeah? and not vice versa. And it's also time when users were opening source codes of other users' web pages and making their own, and this is how they learn, and uh, so and were making a World Wide Web bigger, bigger, and bigger. And uh, this is, uh, yeah, it's very important to keep this activity alive in order to resist the algorithmical communication and self-representation that we have today. And I also should uh, mention that I'm very happy, in fact, about today's situation online, because I see that there is already a second wave of interest to the early web. The first one was, let's say, six, seven years ago, uh, when there was interest to animated GIFs, to under construction, under construction science, to all the visuals, and um, yeah, so star backgrounds, so to the aesthetics. And today, we fortunately have initiatives where the fact of making the web page, the concept and the structure are put in front. I mean such initiatives as neocities.org, as uh, Tilde Club, and uh, as Superglued, the projects that motivate to go away from the timeline and to make your own web pages and to link to the web pages. I'm also somebody who 
if, if you maybe remember my talk last year, I'm somebody who fights for the right of the users and uh, insists that such category as computer users should exist, shouldn't disappear from the language, and uh, users should be educated about their noble role. And uh, that's why, uh, no, not that's why, sorry, I also want to mention that uh, last year when Julian Assange said system administrators of the world unite, it was uh, quite an excluding uh, appeal. And this year, Appelbaum actually corrected it and said that, yeah, community should unite. And I think that also this appeal should be extended even more, and these are computer users who should unite. But for this, computer users, again, should be educated and remember that using something, it is a <clears throat> means active position. Being computer user means to bring system in action, and uh, this is uh, something what, yeah, it had to be reworked that we have to come up, uh, come back to this um, 30 years ago old um, <clears throat> ideas. Well, and uh, that's why I'm showing to you what I'm showing to you now, because uh, when, if we talk about the users and power of the users, we can't skip these pages in the history of the, of the internet, of the web, and of the computer users. So having now said that, let me please greet you properly. Okay, what you've uh, just seen now, it is a trailer uh, for a longer film, which is called Skywriting. And uh, this film features um, the web pages from the GeoCities archive that uses this welcome plane on the um, top of it. There, uh, <coughs> what you see, you see just now here, some of them, the, all the interface would look like this, so they part of the huge database we have at this moment, and we are myself and uh, Dragon Espenschit, former computer musician, one part of Bodenstein Dick 2000 band. Uh, he's also a net artist, and he is at this moment a digital conservator in Rhizome, New York. We together are GeoCities Research Institute, and we make one terabyte of kilobyte H project. project. Uh, keep it alive. We have a stamp. And uh, all this, uh, <clears throat> I should say now, this is a bit uh, like the end of the story. Uh, because it is, uh, what, it is 2014. And uh, when uh, I started, I would like now to go a bit back in time, to go to 1990 when I started to work with the World Wide Web, and it looked like this, or like that. This is also a um, <clears throat> snapshot from that time. Yeah, and uh, I started to make things uh, at that time that I wanted to look quite different from this bright, loud, and uh, dynamic in another sense of the world, world um, uh, World Wide Web. Uh, so I created the projects that uh, were different, and uh, it was already the end of the 90s, uh, or let's say 
um, yeah, it was the end of the 90s when I started to teach internet design and net art. And this was uh, when uh, I re realized that actually pages that I was uh, uh, trying to forget in my work that I tried to distance from that from what I wanted to be different they just disappear from the from the web uh, it was around 2000 when it became completely clear that the amateur culture the early culture of the web is um, removed uh, from the from the web and since uh, that time I started to wake to make works uh, that are actually celebrating this early web culture. Just some examples, but to show this one, I have to go to the, the virtual machine, to Windows, and even to start, even to start an explorer. This work is from uh, from 2004, and it only made from the found uh, gifts, uh, gifts from the free collections of gifts and there would be more and more revealed and uh, another important thing at that time was uh, for dragon and me was uh, that it is uh, this work is for the browser and it also not only celebrates animated gifts but celebrates browser and uh, scroll bar you know it's uh, 2004 but the war, the war on scroll bar already started at that time. Now it's almost the end. But we still sometimes can see it. Now I have to wait for the right beat. The work, the work is called gravity. Okay, what's that? Yeah, now I can close the virtual machine <laughs> and come back to my system. Yeah. Um, another, another work from the same time, which goes in the same direction, is called Midnight. And uh, there we wanted to bring back the navigation elements from the early web that were at this moment substituted by one omnipresent um, slide bar which we know from Google Maps. It's again almost 10 years old project, so at that time, um, slide bar looked like this. So you can't really, it's not functional, but when you start to, when you start to use it, you reveal all these tiny graphics that uh, early web users uh, created stole, found, whatever, because they didn't, they didn't like what interface designers were providing. They didn't believe in the back and forward uh, buttons of the browser, and they wanted to have their own uh, structure of the, their own navigation. Let's put it like this. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so after many, many years of appropriating and bringing to the, um, in front the early web culture, I decided to become a, a GIF model myself. So I wanted to give back uh, to the <coughs> community. I wanted, it's 2005, and I wanted, I wanted to be used on the web pages, believing that people were still making their web pages. This is uh, this small window here, it's my showroom of that time. So I show to you here that I am a perfect loop and that I will look good on every background. Yeah? <laughs> so use me on the web pages. And this is... Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, um, um, this, uh, I have uh, this, uh, a lot of my deeds documented, and there is a, a YouTube uh, a channel here where I document where I finally found myself, on what pages um, I was used, and it's uh, very um, satisfying. Um, yeah, this is, um, uh, and if we talk about the history, please remember that this is what, what animated GIF is. It is used not to be posted somewhere. It's not uh, to be, uh, to uh, 
make a loop of your favorite uh, film, the role was to be to appear on another web page. And when you would make a, your own GIF, you would make it uh, in a way that others would be able to use it. Um, <clears throat> just a moment, if we're still by... Um, I'll teleport that sound. Steam connection. Yeah. I will go here shortly. This is where all my projects could be found. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, uh, making the timelines also of animated GIFs. And so they're uh, following the history. And this, uh, maybe uh, anybody here ever used this lady on their web page. She is a bit strange, yeah? This, uh, you can't really move legs like this. But. Uh, <laughs> Maybe this was the reason why it was used on so, so many web pages around 96. And then here, what we have here is the next period in the history. It's around 2004, 2006. Then GIFs became much, much bigger, glittering and static. This was the main thing. Yeah, and this already MySpace stuff. This is the period then GIFs. Um, started a new wave of the interest. They were very aesthetically pleasing, uh, perfect loops at that moment, but it would never be transparency because it would be, a, it's, at this time it's already about uh, just uh, showing gifts to each other, not using them in the web pages. <clears throat> and this is uh, very uh, specific for today's moment, the GIF, which has this uh, moment of uh, it's not perfect loop. Yeah, it starts again and again. And on one hand, uh, maybe it comes from uh, no. Actually, the idea that it doesn't matter at this moment. It's just a trend at this particular time. There is also an alternative history. I can show to you here. Uh, this is my idol. Maybe you know her. And this is again. This is around 2004. This is having uh, your favorite uh, film uh, film moments looped. Yeah, and this is something. What we have now, something important, so-called gifts with sound. Everything what I do is, of course, very subjective. Yeah? You can make your own timelines, but you can also spread mine. Uh, so I will continue, um, but uh, to show to you so what was happening before one terabyte project. This is uh, our effort to recreate Facebook, uh, Google Plus, and YouTube as if they were made in uh, uh, 2000. Uh, in uh, uh, <laughs> thank you. As if they were made in 1997 and not in. Uh, uh, 2004. This is a uh, YouTube. There is also Pinterest, um, and uh, yeah. So it was, uh, you know. Now I say exactly about 1997, because uh, it's important for me to also to emphasize it right now that we can't just talk about the 90s as some uh, web style. Every year, almost every half a year, there was something different happening. And for example, 1997, it's the appearance of Netscape Communicator, and this is when you could already, this was already the beginning of something what would end up as social networks um, and uh, such hosting services. So uh, web as uh, um, up, uh, for applications, not for the web pages. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> talking about the styles, when I showed you screenshots like this, yeah, like this, like that, something like this again, here, you would say, yeah, exactly, this is the classic appearance of the web of the 90s. But here I want to confront you with my, <clears throat> uh, with, with my timeline of the design styles of that time, and to tell you that usually we only see this vernacular web as a dominant style of uh, that time, and forget about something what I called Prof Doctor, that was before this crazy amateur web, before something what was called uh, GeoCities 96 after in design circles, and also <coughs> the designers period that started in 1997, the first attempts. And if this prof doctor, <coughs> uh, 
Uh, it is an important phenomenon. So it's, let's say, 1993, the first web browser. Browsers, it's Mosaic. And um, these are pages that were made usually at the universities. And this prof doctor thing, this is, uh, it comes from, it was my trick to show it to the students. Also, like around 10 years ago, this trick worked. If I would type in search engine prof doctor, it would deliver to me many pages that were made around 93, or that still look like in 1993. <laughs> yeah, because it's very difficult to to catch this content, and it's also it's time before uh, Wayback Machine, before Internet Archive. Um, now um, it is just it's very actual page. It's my favorite prof doctor, just shown in the mosaic browser. Um, uh, Important thing about this period also, the attitude to the design. The idea that it's not me who is designing the web page for everybody else, but it is me who is just providing <coughs> everything as a default. And uh, I then, as end user, I decide how all the internet should look for me. So I decide what is my link colors for everything, uh, what is uh, uh, color of the text, what is color of the background. <clears throat> so these are some pages that uh, follow this Prof. Doctor style, and these are also uh, pages of uh, Prof. Doctors. And this is this look, yeah? This is the classic look. And then the work started, you can also see how things were developing. Uh, you see here is the background edit, yeah? So one step away from uh, semantics, from the markup style, to the wildness that then, in the end, uh, brings us uh, to the uh, situation that also astrophysics start to make pages like this, yeah? And then this amateur vernacular web starts to form, and then we don't have to follow any more pages of academics, but we can go back to GeoCities and enjoy it there. So this look of the... 1996. Uh, yeah. Welcome, all hackers. Uh, what's important to remember about GeoCities when we talk about it? That um, it was a place that you, would, you were not supposed to go, actually. And at that time, I also, uh, if somebody would send to me a link to GeoCities, I wouldn't dare to. To, to try it, yeah, because it was supposed that there is nothing valuable there at all. And I have all these books about um, web design uh, tips of that time. And uh, imagine none of these books uses GeoCities even as a bad example. Yeah? There is only one, uh, once it appears in web pages that suck, <laughs> of course, maybe you know, but imagine only one example from the GeoCities. Though today we see GeoCities as, a, like as an essence of everything what could uh, go wrong with the <laughs> web design. So it's a very special place, but to shortly the history, it was founded in 1995. Uh, in 1994, it became usable and you know, very popular around 95, 96. Yahoo bought it in 1999, in the moment that it, when it was the third most visited web page uh, on the web, after uh, AOL and Yahoo itself. And uh, in uh, 2009, Yahoo killed GeoCities. The screenshot, what you see here now, it comes from 1999. It's when Yahoo bought GeoCities. It's half a year later. Then Yahoo introduced their terms of services. And then finally users noticed that things changed. And uh, there was this um, paragraph 8 where Yahoo said that all, all your pictures belong to us. Yeah, and there was, a, uh, there was a lot of angry pages and a lot of people left at that moment in GeoCities. So um, in 2009, Yahoo closed GeoCities because it's already 2009. Almost everybody is on Facebook, and uh, Yahoo yeah, didn't know what to do with this at all. And then archive team made a great effort, and uh, in this half a year, what Yahoo gave to the users to rescue their files, uh, archive team actually 
grabbed as much as possible of the geocities, and uh, they released it as a torrent, one terabyte torrent. That's why our project is called one terabyte of kilobyte H. On the 31st of October 2010, so one year later when it was made, we started to download it. It took us several months, of course, to download it because there was only one cedar, and it is uh, <laughs> one terabyte. Uh, then uh, there were months uh, of uh, rebuilding the city, the cities, the neighborhoods, because all this uh, one terabyte, it was not just uh, geocities catched and now you can open all this and uh, enjoy, but these were tars made by many, many different people. You had to put them together. You have to uh, fight the simlink cancer. You have to also deal uh, with uh, a lot of uh, uh, problems with uppercase, lowercase. So in the end, um, it's, an, of course, an effort uh, of uh, Dragon, mostly. In the end, we got now uh, 395 profiles of the early web pages. Nobody knows uh, what, how much is it of, the, of what was actually there um, ever. Yeah, there is no statistics. And uh, Yahoo has no idea about anything, of course. So uh, apart from uh, just having these screenshots, at our archive, there is a beautiful, or how Dragon calls it, the amazing GeoCities screenshot factory. Uh, will not explain to you now how it works, but you already have seen what comes in the end. Yeah? There is a snapshot of the web page that appears in the browser um, that is adequate for that particular moment of time. There is um, then, this, then screenshots, because we want to feed the internet with its history as much as possible. It comes to Tumblr. Um, every 20 minutes, there is a new screenshot uh, from our archive. So they are now at this moment. Everybody can enjoy it. What we, um, yeah. But screenshots are only screenshots, of course. They, it is an amazing, a very rich content, but you can imagine when you look at this page, something is missing, of course. <laughs> uh, in fact, it should look like this. But to make a video snapshot of the page, it's completely different. Uh, it's a different size of the file. It's much uh, longer time you need for this. So the Tumblr is at this moment is feeded only with the screenshots, with the static screenshots. We have still uh, material for 12 more years to feed the Tumblr. But as you maybe already know, Yahoo bought Tumblr. Yeah? So <laughs> We don't know how much uh, time we still have, and uh, uh, or what should we, uh, maybe archive team should already grab the Tumblr with everything, what we are posting there. Uh, how does uh, this, um, what is the chronology? We started with the last, uh, with the earliest, Oh, with the oldest updated screenshot. So this one is the first one in uh, our archive. It only means that it is the last one uh, the first one in our archive. Yeah, it doesn't has a lot says a lot about the history. So, but from what was rescued, this uh, page was uh, the oldest. So it was updated in 1995. Last updated in 1995, and this is how we go uh, in further in the history. So at this moment on Tumblr, we are in August 1999, and it's already .com. Yeah, if you remember such or use such dirty words. But uh, an interesting thing, by the way, with GeoCities is that you can see how time sort of uh, was frozen there. Yeah, it's 99, but on GeoCities it's always 96. This is the uh, amazing thing about it. But this screenshot is from 1995, and here I can, for the first time, maybe mention this, what was in subtitle of my talk. You see that this page is made for something different as uh, 800 to 600. We made, at this moment, we make screenshots for 800, 600, but this one is obviously for 
640 to 480, um, just because of the size of the lines. What else do we know here? What are other historically important moments? The Kelvin picture of Kelvin. You know, when you look at the geocities, you can think that it was filled with the fans of Kelvin and Hobbits. But it's not really like this. The thing is that geocities provided um, the clip art. There were a lot of flags that you were supposed to use on this um, place to represent a particular country, Germany, Russia, or whatever. And there was uh, Spock from Star Trek, and there was uh, Kelvin. Yeah, so if you didn't, if you haven't scan, scanned your own picture yet, you would probably use the Kelvin. The, but it is a very early web pages, but uh, still there is a mass of Kelvins in the GeoCities archive. Yeah, another background, but you see he is here and the structure is still there. What is uh, quite a touching moment, I would say here, what I was mentioning before, uh, this comes from the template, links to the other sites on the web. Yeah? It was there from the very beginning. It's sort of, of course you could remove it, but it also, you were motivated to fill it. Yeah? So web page without links to other pages, it's uh, sort of a useless thing. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Wait a moment. Yeah, what I wanted to say here again, this page, maybe it's not so clear, but it's again, it's made for um, 640. And um, what was uh, significant for that time, you could see a lot that people were still talking about the cyberspace. Not about, not so much welcome to my web page, not welcome to my electronic office, but welcome to my corner of cyberspace, or welcome to my cyber home. There was 94, uh, 95, this is still time that people refer to this place as place somewhere else. And they make it for 640 uh, without uh, giving other opportunities. This is already from later. Yeah, these choices that designers had to make and users had to make for themselves. Or here you can even more later, but and come screens are getting yeah uh, bigger, and there is this choice, but it was not there at that moment. Uh, but what you can see, yeah, this is now where you can see it in a classic way, right? This is 640. And this is what we see now. And when I open this page now on my screen, I see the gentleman like an infinity uh, of the gentleman in outer space. Or here. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe you can't see it here, but it's the same. It is the um, picture that didn't have to be tiled. Yeah, the known motive, but also it's adjusted for 640. This one is very beautiful. All the cockpit to fly with this web page to the cyberspace is built here. Look, looked terrible already around 96. Or not terrible, but maybe, yeah, maybe. In fact, it's how it had to grow. But the original plan was that it's like this. <laughs> MIDI sound is, of course, in background. That's why I make, with my mobile phone, I make the videos of these uh, websites. And there is my channel on Vine. So you can enjoy it uh, there as well. Yeah, and... Uh, uh, just think, please, that this, uh, yeah, what is here, maybe you can see it. Hello, cyber visitor, is said there. So, and this is, yeah, this is still the time that you refer to cyberspace. And this is actually not because you are noob and you don't know how cy cyberspace looks, but because it's time when cyberspace got its look for everybody. And this look was star, back, outer space background with underlying words on it. If it's Netscape, it, these words were in blue. Yeah? And this was the, yeah, uh, when John Perry Barlow was writing his Declaration of Independence of Cyberspace, the cyberspace looked like this. And this is important to remember, yeah, such things, not to underestimate. Um, till this time, I almost only showed to you the screenshot in Made in Netscape. And, um, 
uh, it, it was a difficult moment for us earlier this year when we had to switch to Explorer. Uh, because it was, uh, yeah, Netscape is, of course, was more, you know, it was more attracting more uh, attention and it looked like really like the past. Yeah, because Explorer, yeah, here it looks like an old Explorer, but everybody knows that it's still there. It is an mm, actual thing. But Netscape was uh, <laughs> very pleasant to look at, but we could not ignore anymore that in 1999, actually, there was almost no Netscape. And with the page, I, what I showed to you now, this is the first uh, the web page that was last updated on 18th of March 1999. That's why it's the day of release of Explorer 5, and this is when we changed uh, and now pre uh, stream screenshots um, in uh, Explorer, unfortunately, but in the archive you can always see in both. By the way, about archive, I didn't mention. Well, this is what I see. I use the one terabyte as uh, my interface to the archive. So if I would go now, with um, uh, with Chrome, so here I don't have an add-on. Here I don't have proxy. I, I would see what you see. And uh, here I have uh, see this actual page. Yeah, for me, GeoCities is up. <laughs> I have a, I go online to go offline. So to say. Yeah, thank you. Um, I can, there is something uh, what can be of interest for you. Uh, there are also copies, but they're not as full as ours. You can access through our, um, there is also always a URL. So you can, when you know the URL, you can go to, uh, you can check this URL on GeoCities, on OCities and GeoCities um, VS. Yeah, they also have copies, not so, uh, not so structured as um, ours, and a lot of things are missing, but still, this is where you can see a lot of the past. There was something about funny here about the, um, these elements, what I wanted to show to make a bridge from here. Maybe anybody used in this room ever used this bar in the web page? Somebody ever seen it? It is sort of a... Uh, show to you some pages. I uh, tag these pages in our archive uh, nightmare after this page because it is also my personal nightmare. Uh, they are all uh, they are all ruins. These web pages and they come to from the certain period from 1997. And this is when Intel tried to make their template for making web pages. They tried to make their site builder, and they introduced these crazy elements. Uh, these bars and dripping, um, how it's called, wasahan. Um, yeah, and uh, people were trying to make something out of it, but it never worked. And then was already Yahoo, and Yahoo introduced their own site builder, and this is how it uh, all went. Yeah, so when I go to the archive, I can also uh, see the elements, um, like this duff that you probably know, the welcome skull used on so many welcome pages yeah, to invite you to enter. So it's also possible in the archive, it's possible not only to tag pages, but to tag elements of the pages. A lot of uh, beautiful stuff. It's really overwhelming. Uh, this is, by the way, here what you see now, it is the most used graphic on GeoCities. Maybe I would better have to announce it on Valentine's Day, yeah. But uh, I just said it now. So after after the counter and after the logo of GeoCities, this is the most used graphic. In fact, this is not so important for us, these statistics. And we are very careful with uh, not to go with the big data approach to all this and uh, try to make everything with our own eyes. Sometimes I'm happy to uh, be able to involve my students. For example, this is our PMAN research, what we just finished. There, are, <clears throat> It's not such a famous graphic, but there are almost 800 of them on the GeoCities. 
here is with all his glory. And uh, the great thing about this graphic is that it was always used in connection with another graphic. So this is how people were showing their disagreement or disgust about something or somebody. And um, yeah, sort of a dislike button, you can also say. Um, we, and finally, we could find out all this, uh, we have more than 700 results of what users were peeing on, yeah? What did they hate? And, uh, uh, yeah, they're politicians, they're Hansen, of course. Uh, there are a lot of uh, sport teams and sport symbolics. Surprisingly, I, I, would, I thought that it would be geocities that would be the most uh, peeable <laughs> on, pissed on uh, thing, but it is Ford. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever you can. Yeah, there is now an installation we built out of it. We made him prominent and put all this on the monitor here. And it can be, yeah, very relieving in the <laughs> <laughs> end of the day to, yeah, to, ha to get another role as a researcher. The, <clears throat> coming now most closer, uh, to the end, I would like to say, yeah, what else we're looking for? Yeah, what images um, were, particular images were used for? What was, um, what was the tendencies? Not so much who made the image or how often they were used. And um, also the elements of the, the choices. Uh, what uh, early web makers had to make and uh, end users had to make. For example, here there is this uh, mm, thing, that, you know, you see, you can decide to go hi fi or low fi. So, not resolution, but uh, hi fi and low fi. And this hi fi it is something for the future. Yeah? <laughs> low fi, there is a content here about this band. But this hi fi, on the page that was last updated in 1996 means that somebody believes that in some weeks maybe that it will be possible to have videos there, yeah, to listen to the music. And it is prepared for it, but nothing happens. So this is the choice. Uh, I remember myself even leaving this choice to something for the future. Okay, not possible now, but in some weeks. Another greatest choice, what we all had to make at this time, and to say frames or no frames. Yeah? And there is a culture around this and hate graphics and love graphics and how uh, they all appear. And if you can see here, okay, now you have a choice. Yeah? The choices we could make at that time and we gladly made. Something else, what I'm very careful about um, and uh, 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 try to make something meaningful out of it are the messages where people promise that soon there will be something. <laughs> it is quite, you know, it's a, a little bit oh, very difficult thing because you know that these are dead pages, but you all the time get, still now in 99, you get this promise just wait for two weeks or next week or as soon as school starts or the opposite, soon uh, school will be over and I will have time. Uh, so this, sometimes it's pro prominent, mm, bold message, sometimes it's more uh, narrative, and this is another great thing that people really narrate and tell the stories and explain why they make pages and why it's not good yet, and how everything will change when they get scanner, and um, <laughs> so. And um, at the same time, there is another wave of messages where people say no more, yeah? There will be no page. And, uh, <clears throat> Uh, these uh, processes, they uh, go in the, the parallel to each other, but uh, in the opposite direction. <clears throat> Sometimes there is a reason given why somebody is not up updating the page anymore. Uh, mostly these are very optimistic, in fact, uh, pages where people say that because we got a new domain, we got, because we got a new location, yeah, we moved, there is new, new life starts. Also, the tragedy here is that it's almost never uh, that you would follow this link and there would be something. They also don't exist anymore. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of uh, hate messages and at the same time a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, 
um, very happy and beginning of the new life or somebody is uh, moving to angel fire yeah and thinks that now things will now things will be great or tripod yeah of course there is <laughs> they offer not 11 megabytes but 20 megabytes yeah i am moving to tripod so uh, things like this um, then we are, at this moment, we are two people who are mostly doing this, but uh, finally we were also joined by a um, Chinese um, researcher uh, of Chinese digital folklore, and he is now going through the Chinese web pages, so pages in Chinese language. Uh, this is uh, important for us. We for sure need somebody who would go into Spanish and uh, Portuguese web pages. Uh, we are in general interested to open the interface for those who want to research, to use this content to publish their ideas. And now, for example, yeah, we should, there are a lot of things, a lot of fan pages, a lot of hate pages. There are genealogy pages, uh, clans. Yeah, this is very important. So the content, which uh, it's, it wouldn't be right that the person one person or even two people just go through this. And for example, uh, we shouldn't forget, yeah, as uh, J.C. Hertz wrote in uh, Surfing on the Internet in 1994, actually before GeoCities, that the net isn't just a scientific research tool, it's an outlet for gorgeous women trapped in the bodies of male computer programmers. And uh, one should say that GeoCities was really <coughs> an uh, outlet for cross-dressers, especially the West Hollywood um, neighborhood. Yeah, geocities were about na neighborhoods. And uh, there are pages uh, that uh, we, uh, really a lot of them, quite in a good state. Uh, we think what to do with them, because they have to be analyzed, they don't have to be exposed, but it should be somebody in, um, somebody with, um, experience in uh, queer culture and also experience with early web culture to analyze them and to make sense out of it. I show to you this page now because if you would scroll down there, you would see that there is a <coughs> message left on this page to the future generation. So this page was uh, supposed to be shown to you. So if you have an ideas how you could contribute to uh, GeoCities archive to one terabyte of kilobyte each, research, we would be uh, happy to, to listen to you. Thank you very much. <laughs>
the first thing I did was put HTTP one dot, uh, HTTPD 1.4 pre-forking um, web server on there, if you can think back to what happened before that. To get these bits out to the rest of the world was an absolute fight. GeoCities was growing. We were, we were, we were rack and stacking Sun, um, Sun 10s, then Sun 20s, and finally bigger machines uh, during 96. We blew out 100 megs of FIDI connection out of Barnet in the Stanford University Colo, which is where the servers were. Um, and this was just a continuous fight. The users were coming in in the mid-96. We had to make database changes and, and the like. But I'm blown away by what you've done. And I'm <laughs> so sad that I'm saying here going, I, have no, I mean, I know people to contact, but there's no hope that anybody's got an archive from back then. Just oh, nothing. Please no say one's, it again. I don't think anybody from the founders or from the original engineers has got like a copy of, of original yeah. stuff anymore. But you just brought this all back. And, but can and you bring to us back uh, this uh, moment into, uh, in 1999, then Yahoo bought? Uh, no, because this was a, this was, this was a, I was looking at the dates and this is very finite. This was 96 for me, only 96. Wow, the and best year <laughs> for everybody. <laughs> Oh, next question, please. Yes, thank you uh, for your amazing talk and your amazing work, and please continue to do so. Um, I was wondering, are you also looking at saving all those old uh, bits of uh, crappy JavaScript code that ran on the back of all these pages in order to make Blink work and all that stuff? It, Richard Stallman sent you here to ask me about <laughs> <laughs> No, we tried to grab as, um, as much as possible. I was now so shocked when you said JavaScript. <laughs> so, but what was your, if, if scripts are included or as templates? Or yeah, are you saving them, stacking them up? Because I, I really believe that's part of that culture as well, uh, where you try to uh, yeah, make stuff moving or whatever, blinking, uh, crazy colors. Uh, there is not so much actually made with JavaScript, though. Yeah, they're appearing more and more things, but this is this is stored. If it was on the web page, is it? It is stored. Or what are you maybe? Maybe you need. You need. You mean Java, probably? No, I, I definitely <laughs> mean uh, JavaScript. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking back at a time when I and I guess mm -hmm. a lot of people here started. Uh, yeah, learning uh, computer science basically, li like you okay. said, the, the first steps into programming. And for me, uh, it was because I made this basic website. I don't even know where I hosted it, and step by step you want more and more, and that's how yeah. you find out. So I'm, I was wondering if there's any place I could go and look back at the stuff. Uh. Uh, no, you can, uh, you can go back as always to the by the way, way back machine, mm. but for this you have to know where to go. This is the trouble with uh, GeoCities. Yeah, but a lot of uh, these uh, builders and the scripts <laughs> they are there. And sometimes uh, I film something and I show something online, and, uh, it, it, and it is uh, actually um, something very advanced. One could think that you only can make it with uh, HTML5, yeah, but then it appears that <laughs> it, this was just how things were made in 96, also with some lines of code. Thank you. <laughs> so there's another question from the internet. So have you thought about um, the whole right to be forgotten issue regarding your archive page? <laughs> uh, if, if every, like, I look at 72, minimum at 72 old pages a day. Yeah, and uh, it's always, uh, every time if I want to publish something or to go deeper or to reveal something what is uh, behind, 800 to 600, I am um, I'm thinking twice about it. And uh, of course it is always this, um, um, yeah, but there should be something to remember. I see my role in, um, in this project, or we see our role as somebody who uh, now will um, <clears throat> repair and, uh, uh, and uh, stack as much as possible have as much as possible, and uh, this uh, other questions they should be uh, they, they should be the second, yeah, otherwise we don't know what to what to forget. there would be nothing to forget if there is nothing. 
left. I can go on. If there's no other question. So do you have anyone looking at the audio content of the archives? So the MIDI's and all the WAV files or the embedded sounds in the pages? Yeah, this is uh, what is uh, all this uh, my Vine channel. I started on Vine, the GeoCities tag, because uh, uh, what we, um, yeah, it's not, yeah. <laughs> not uh, really working. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we miss MIDI sound very much. Yeah. So what's the most popular MIDI sound? <laughs> the most popular MIDI sound, now it's not from the statistics, but uh, what I noticed, this is a theme from uh, uh, X-Files. <laughs> of course, yeah. It appears on science fiction uh, web pages, it appears on, uh, in West Hollywood, on children web pages, it's everywhere. Are there any other questions? Yeah, yeah. Two. I have a question. Are you, yeah, um, are you interested in people donating their old web pages? Because I'm like a data hoarder and I saved everything I ever did on the internet. And so, like, maybe others did too and would send you the various crappy starts of the, in the internet. <laughs> yes, please. So it's offline, but you saved it. Yeah, yeah, I did it. So. Yeah, but, and is it a GeoCities web page? Uh, no, I guess Tripod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is precious. Tripod is such a mess. Yeah. And with GeoCities, uh, there is still uh, luck, but with a Tripod, you wouldn't know what to do with it. And maybe you know more recent case, Hives. Um, yeah, Hives, it's a, a social network in Holland. Yeah, that was uh, last year, it was closed. And their users only got two weeks to rescue their files. And uh, there are 25 terabytes of data yeah, that was uh, saved. Uh, but how to make sense out of it, nobody knows yet. But there is, but they are, yeah, at Internet Archive, they are stored. Another question from the Internet. So do you, anything, do you know anything about the popularity of uh, CGI and friends? So, yeah, basically, common gateway interface, so not computer graphics. Uh, I don't really understand that. So how many pages use CGI code, uh, for example, oh. for a counter or something? Oh, the counter... Uh, no, I don't have statistics. It's easy to uh, find out, actually. But it is... Um, Let's say it's almost everywhere, and there is always the by GeoCity, so by, by Yahoo, there was always one pixel beacon, the beacon that was always there. And uh, um, the, from, starting from Yahoo Times, the counter was uh, by default there. Some removed it, some did not. But we have a uh, developer here. <laughs> <laughs> Next microphone three, please. Yeah, okay, so at the beginning of the talk, you talked about this professionalization of, of the web and, um, and that geosites don't exist anymore. So do you think we should bring back this amateur like web creation again? Like, is there any, you talked about NeoCities, like a new project that kind of brings back GeoCities. Mm -hmm. What is your thought about like, mm -hmm. like, the, the current state of amateur web creation, is, mm -hmm. is, is it bad? And you, you also talk about this, that we use Facebook instead. It is not really a creative, engaging mm -hmm. activity. So, so what is the alternative? How do we bring back this amateur mm -hmm. age of the web? It is um, developing in two ways, actually. Well, you can see one about the aesthetics, let's say so-called it's called low digital aesthetics. So these are people just having fun with graphics, having fun with templates given to them. Do you know Blingy.com? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, but maybe not many know here Blingy.com. Uh, this is where you can make uh, animated graphics. You can make them glitter. You can apply a lot of stamps on it and then use them in comments or um, anywhere. Interestingly, I mentioned it, it's usually it's mentioned as the most uh, bad uh, taste uh, 
uh, thing you can do. But I observed this um, uh, service for many, many years, and imagine how it depend develops uh, in a very transparent one. You always can see who made what stamp, who contributed with what to the system. You can uh, you can see the layers and use the layers of everything. It's almost like opening in former times the source code of the page and being able to make your own page. But this is of course all used for to creating some cheesy glittering graphics. So this is the maybe the down part of it. And uh, yeah, uh, the last note, but I mentioned neo-cities, they don't try to make geo-cities, they just call themselves like this. They want to distance from this style, but they want that people make uh, web pages without uh, templates. And also I mentioned tilde club, and tilde meaning that you get there, you are the user on the system, yeah, you get the tilde in front of your name. But not only, again, you can make your pages without templates there, and you are motivated to make web rings, so to link to each other, and this is quite a, I would say, quite a precious thing to start uh, to do again, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Good. So we ran off, out of time. Thanks for everybody for listening. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very thanks much. Thanks for the talk. <laughs>